DSI stands for Digital Sequence Information, and that doesn't tell us very much at all. What they're referring to is the genomic information, basically. So DNA, RNA, and other information that we can derive from biological material. Oh, it's used for all kinds of things, of course. It's, it's used in the daily life of every biological entity. It's, it's, what, it's the information that each cell passes to the other in, in, in all of our bodies. What we use it for, our ability to extract it and identify it and sequence it is very helpful for our efforts to conserve plant genetic resources because it, it helps us identify what we actually have. Often a plant uh, looks the same as another plant, a seed looks the same as another seed. But when you drill down and you look at their DNA and RNA, you can say, ah, they're very different. Oh, there's a very nice study that's been done by IITA and SEAT. They both have uh, cassava collections. IITA's cassava was mostly collected in Africa. SEAT's uh, cassava was mostly collected from Latin America. And looking at their collections, they weren't sure how different they were, or if in fact they were largely, one was largely redundant of the other. So they genotyped, that is to say, they looked at portions of the genome of all of their collections and they could identify that in fact they're quite distinct. Um, and that they really, and that in the diff, on the different continents, these crops have evolved in distinct ways, but as in groups. So the group of cassava from Africa is distinct from the group of cassava that's been collected and is conserved by SEAT in Latin America. There's a concern that developed countries have more capacity in terms of machinery, in terms of money to spend on generating and using DSI and taking advantage of it for breeding than developing countries have. And that as a result, the technology gap between the global south and the global north could increase. Um, and so for CGIR, as an international agricultural research development uh, organization that has access to advanced technologies but has as a target beneficiaries in, in the global south, we see our role as trying to build capacity of developing country agricultural research programs to take advantage of DSI to use for their own conservation programs and their own breeding, or to work with in partners with us on conservation and breeding.